Hi, welcome to Ankyridian. Kcops was a member of the Dicerophids. It is one of the most distinctive Paleozoic amphibians that diversified in the equatorial region of Pangaea during the Congrian stage of the early Permian. Dicerophids were a diverse family of Tenospondyls that arose a little later than Areopids. A lot of Dicerophids were fully adapted land-living amphibians. Dicerophids were often heavily armored predators. This, along with their extensive geographical range and large size, suggests that they were able to coexist with amniotes as predators during the early Permian. Kcops, along with its relatives and some of the Areopids, rapidly adapted to survive in the drier Carboniferous climate. This Heropidae has four distinct clays differentiated largely on the morphology of the osteoderms, which include Eukcopini, previously called Kcopini, the Dicerophini, the Aspidosaurini, and the Platyhistricini. Kcops is one of the few alsoniforms, part of a clade of Dicerophoid temnospondyls, whose ontogeny, or development from early stages to maturity, is beginning to be revealed. This is largely due to new material collected from the Last Brothers Quarry near Richard Spur, Oklahoma, in the past few decades. These discoveries have painted a descriptive picture of the phenotype or appearance and behavior of this creature. This is great news for the paleontological community and for scientists specializing in temnospondyls, because previously, Kcops fossils were almost exclusively known from the Kcops bone bed of the Lower Permian Arroyo Formation of Texas, and this was during much of the 20th century, so we're really fortunate. It was well adapted to life on land. Its body was covered with bony plates and a row of thick armor that ran along its backbone. These plates may have given it some protection from other terrestrial predators of the time. Its legs were well adapted for walking and were very similar to those of reptiles in terms of structure. A nautic notch, which was a broad opening behind each eye, was covered by a taut membrane that functioned as an eardrum. Thus, the large otic notch at the back of the skull indicates that Kcops had relatively good hearing. Kcops means blind face or ugly look, a nod to a strange appearance. It was named by Williston in 1910. Species include the type species, which is C. espiporus, and other species like C. morisi and C. worri. It was an insectivore and thus a carnivore. It was tiny reaching up to 16 inches or 40 centimeters in length. It has been found in Texas, North America, and it lived during the Hungarian of the early Permian, 283.5 to 272.95 million years ago. Many specimens of Kcops have been discovered, leading to a rather solid description. And with that, thank you for watching this program episode of Prehistoric Beast as a short, fact-based episode. Acrocanthosaurus Dinosaurs on Earth episode is coming soon, so stay tuned for that one. This is Ankyridian, see you next time.